Salmon and the Forest Interdependence Watch the video below about salmon in the temperate rainforests. The video claims that the trees are made of salmon. State three important facts about temperate rainforests. Answers on the next slide. Temperate rainforests are rare, covering only 1% of the land area of North America. They have the highest biomass per area on the planet because the trees are so large. The rain washes nutrients out of the soil. The video states that trees are made of salmon because bears carry the salmon into the forest. Other animals eat the fish remains and spread them even further. Eventually, the nutrients from the animal wastes and decomposition of the salmon are cycled into the soil and the trees absorb these nutrients, so some of the tree's matter comes from the salmon. The availability of resources and the biotic, abiotic interactions in an ecosystem affect the population sizes of organisms found in that ecosystem. If the trees were cut down, salmon populations would decrease because the trees shade the water, keeping the water temperature low and just right for salmon and they prevent erosion and create protective pools for the developing salmon. If the salmon were overfished, decreasing their population, the trees would not grow as well. They would not get the nitrogen they need that came from the decomposition of the salmon, and the bear population would decrease as their key food source would decrease. Scientists claim that the nitrogen in the trees comes from the salmon. How can they know this? Work with a group and come up with an experiment that would determine whether or not the nitrogen in trees comes from salmon. Share your procedure with the class. As the groups present their experimental design, determine pros and cons of each. Which aspects of experimental design are good? Is there anything that could be improved? When finished, watch the video below that explains how the nitrogen in the trees indeed comes from the salmon. Wolves were once declared vermin in the U.S., and the government paid people to seek them out. It is estimated that one million wolves were killed between 1850 and 1900, and wolves were placed on the endangered species list in 1973. This eradication program was short-sighted, as we are now learning about the importance of top-level carnivores and ecosystems, and the cascading effects that arise from their removal. Click for activity link.